in a circle you have a center and you have a segment like this. This is called the radius. And then you also have what's called a diameter. And a diameter goes all the way across. So a diameter is a segment that goes through the center. And a radius is a half a diameter. So the diameter is two times the radius. The radius is half of the diameter. So if you know, I'll make a chart. So if the radius is 5, the diameter is 10. If the diameter is 20, then the radius is 10. If the diameter is 6, then the radius is 3. If the radius is 4, then the diameter is 8. If the radius is 2, then the diameter is 4. That's the pattern. So, the area of a circle formula. The area of a circle is r squared times pi. So pi is an irrational number. It's a number that goes on forever and the digits do not repeat. So you can find this symbol we call pi. And pi is spelled P-I. You can find it on your calculator. So example one, find the exact area and rounded area for each question below. Round your answers to the nearest tenth. So one decimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the formula. Area equals r squared times pi. And we have the radius is 8. So I'm going to substitute area equals 8 squared times pi. So area equals 8 squared is 64, so it's 64 pi. And my units, since it's area, are going to be centimeters squared. This is called exact. Exact means that you have it in terms of pi. So when I approximate, I'm going to put this in my calculator. And I do 64 times pi. Oops. 64 times pi is about 201 to the nearest tenth point one. It's still going to be centimeters squared. So letter B. I write the formula. Area equals r squared pi. Area equals 3.5 because 1 half is 3.5 squared pi. So 3.5 times 3.5 is 12.25, so it's 12.25 pi, don't forget your pi, and then inches squared. Now, approximate means I'm going to put that in my calculator, and I get 38.5 inches squared. And letter C. A Jaguar's circular pen has a diameter of 3. So if the diameter is 3, the radius is 1.5. So I do area equals r squared pi. Area equals 1.5 squared pi. 1.5 squared is 2.25 pi. And then it's miles squared. And now I'm going to put that in my calculator to approximate. So I do 2.25 times 2 times pi. 2.25 times pi equals 15.9. So it's approximately 15.9 miles squared. Okay, another one down here. So this time we're given a picture. So this is half way across. So this is the radius. 
So I'm going to write the radius is 7. So you do area equals, write the formula, r squared pi, area equals 7 squared pi, that's 49 pi, and then I don't have units, but I'm going to write units squared. And for down here, I'm going to put 49 pi in my calculator. So 49 times pi equals 153.9. So it's 153.9 units squared. And then letter E, area equals r squared pi, area equals, okay, so this time the radius is 2.5 because the diameter is 5 all the way across is 5. So it's 2.5 squared pi, so that is 6.25 pi feet squared. So I put 6.25 times pi is 19.6 feet squared. Okay, find the area of each shaded region. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So the way I look at this one is you have this rectangle first. So I'm going to find the area of the rectangle. So area of the rectangle is base times height. Area equals 8 times 12, which equals 96 meters squared. So that's this red part. So the blue part is half of a circle. So I'm going to do 1 half times r squared pi. So I do area equals 1 half the radius squared times pi. I took half because this is half of the circle. So in this case, the radius is half of 8, so the radius is 4. So I do area equals 1 half times 4 squared pi. So this number is half of 16 is 8 pi meters squared. So together, I'm going to join 96 plus 8 pi, and I'm going to put it in my calculator. So 8 pi plus 96 is the nearest tenth, about 121.1 .1 meters squared. And then letter B, round your answer to the nearest tenth. This shaded region is, so pretend that you're mowing lawn. It's the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. So the area of the big circle is r squared pi. So that's 4 squared pi, which is 16 pi inches squared. And then my little one is area equals r squared pi. So that is 3 squared pi, which is 9 pi inches squared. So now I'm going to subtract them. I'm going to do 16 pi minus 9 pi is 7 pi. So I'm going to put 7 pi in my calculator. And it's 21.99. So that's 22 inches squared.